Well, listen, we've got Annie on hold. Okay, do, you have, do you have a last point or question you want to make, Jim? No, just take care and thank you. And I just wanted you to know about L. Ron Hubbard. Thanks thank for you. sharing. And Jan, that. before you go, I got two verses to read to you about Putin. Okay. Uh, it's out of Second Thessalonians. Uh, well, I've read that. Let no one in any way deceive you, for it will not come unless the apostasy comes first and a man of lawlessness is revealed, the son of destruction who opposes and exalts himself above every so-called God or object of worship, so that he takes his seat in the temple of God, displaying himself as being God. We will know who he is when he's revealed, as God said he's going to be revealed. And by the way, the temple could be a physical temple, or it could be the temple of our body. It's one or the other. And Eastern religion and demonization and, you know, getting those Oprah spirits mm -hmm. in you. It could come it, through TV. Yeah, it could. Very interesting. Listen, thanks for calling, Jan. God All bless right. you. Annie, how are you? Fine, thank you. Good. Have we ever talked before? Uh, no. Okay. How are you doing? What would you like to share with us? Well, I just, I watch your show and it seems like half of the time when I get to it, um, I'm getting the uh, bro a rebroadcast. So okay. I was ecstatic to see you live. And... <laughs> <laughs> even more relieved to hear you actually speaking the truth. Um, I can find very few people that are actually acknowledging what is really happening right now and tying it in with the scriptures. And um, I just, I'm, I'm at my wit's end. It's just I feel so, I, I've felt alone with the exception of my very close Christian friends. But are we outnumbered? Am I missing the boat here? Or? Yeah, no, you're absolutely right. <laughs> okay. yeah. You know, you know, the, the, you know that scripture that we were going to talk mention there is great that you read is great falling away apostasy. Yes. Um, I think we're seeing the beginnings of it where people are being seduced. Jesus said, if were possible, even the elect might have been deceived before he returned, and we see the prophetic fulfillments indicating that we're getting close because Israel had to become a nation again. Right. You know, in order, you know, and, and Iran had to become an enemy of Israel, allied with Russia, according to Scripture in Ezekiel 38. All these things had to set the stage, and they've happened, you know, in the last 65 years or so. Right. And we see the, the seduction through meditation bringing people into this, back to the original lie, that you will be as God. No. Oh. Yeah, my church that I had been going to for probably 10 years, uh, uh, the minister has, you know, he's jumped off into the deep end and doing the labyrinth walks and having the author of The Shack and Blue Like Jazz come in as special guest speakers instead of sermons, and I'm just, ugh. It's, uh... It sounds like he's emerging. Oh, emerging, yeah. And, you know, I even spoke up to some people that I thought maybe had ears that were open, and whoa, I was shot down real quick. So, like, fine, you know, <laughs> it's okay. <I'll> you're <laughs> going to be persecuted and ostracized for standing in the absolute Jesus. You know, and it just absolutely fills my heart with joy that I, that that's my calling. Do you know what I mean? Yes, I do. Yeah, Jesus I, said we should feel that. It's hard to feel that way when you're being persecuted, but he's the one who's told us to do that. Well, I know, and then that just makes them even angrier, because they think I'm, you know, that I've lost it, which I I don't care to the world I have, but I know I haven't. You know, and, you know there there's some great, uh, there's a great series of film that's come out by a name, man named Roger Oakland, and we'll be showing some of that. In upcoming programs. Really, so. I was just reading about him from a, uh, a, a ministry that I listened to on the radio by uh, out of uh, Min Minneapolis, Minnesota. She's going to have him on her radio broadcast. Wonderful. So. I think I think the Lord's kind of really pointing you into someone who's like-minded. Yeah. Because this Roger Oakland, he connects the apostasy. He connects the road to Rome. That's headed to Rome. Oh, wow. Very wow, clearly. Awesome. And so we encourage you, if you get a hold of us on our website, if you can, um, we'd be we'd be, love to, to give you some copies of, of Roger Oakland's series. Yes, I would love it. Well, uh, so. we can give maybe, we'll talk about that. We don't have, uh, I don't have permission right. yet to make copies to do that kind but of thing. Not, not copies, I'm, not I'm copies, sorry, but... 
We can turn you on to Roger Oakland's ministry. A little. Yeah. Yeah, he's yeah. written a book called Faith Undone, which oh. ties in so much of all of this. That, of what's happening right now? So. Yeah, yeah, it, it really does. It's, you know, what you ex have experienced with your former church. It, and, and it'll definitely um, bring joy to the very first thing you opened up with. It, am I losing it or what? You know, but even though there's joy and persecution, it's sad to see our fellow. Oh, it it tears uh, my heart out to see people professing that are, believers to that see are, that are falling away. You know, yeah. we yeah. and we talk about that all the time. How can how come we're not being drawn away when others have been listening to the word of God for so many years and yet they're being drawn away? I don't get it. Well, you know, I think a lot of them haven't <laughs> listening to the word. Maybe they listen here well, and there. And that's just I it. think. You, go ahead, Ann. Oh, I was just going to say that that how many times does Jesus tell his disciples that he's the shepherd and we are his sheep, and my sheep hear my voice, mm. and and the scriptures say that this is the word of God, which is the voice. And so, if you're reading the Bible, then you're hearing his word, which means you're hearing his voice. That's right. First Timothy so, four, the last. Verse or two says that you know all scripture is given by inspiration of God for reproof, correction, exactly. training. Now and, and then the next verse it says that we might be fully equipped, that we might be made, you know, essentially um, mature. You know, is another way to translate the Greek word, so that all of God's word will make us mature and equipped. So you don't equipped. need yoga, you don't need yeah. meditation, a mantra a special method. Right. Scripture is sufficient to do all that if with a sincere heart we're trying to put into practice what Scripture says and, now, and to learn to renew the mind, putting on the mind of Christ, as Scripture says. Well, and I believe that's keeping your helmet of salvation upon your head, which is what your protection of mind is. I mean, that's one of them. Why don't you salvation? share the others that are given there in Ephesians? Well, the, the sword of the Spirit, of course, and um, I, I just I remember a minister telling me when I first became a Christian and was starting to read about the the armor of God. He said the the uh, the helmet of salvation and the breastplate of righteousness never take them off <laughs> ever. And, and I, I don't think we can if we're truly His. I don't well, think. Well, we... and I think what he was saying was that you know because you know all of the armor is defensive. Because we aren't to retreat in a battle, we are to go forward. Right. And running and, and you know, turning your tail and running back, you know, you aren't protected from the back because you're, you, your, your cover from the back is the Lord, and He is going to see you through. And, you know, running away, you, you're, you're admitting defeat. Yeah, another one of the... Um pieces of armor are to have your loins girt about with truth. And so scripture says that God's gonna, God says in Thessalonians that he's going to send strong delusion in the latter times for those who do not have the love of the truth. And people are, we're so easily swayed, so people will follow their pastors without checking scripture. All the pastors I like to listen to will say, don't listen to me only. Yeah. Check what I say against Scripture, and if I'm wrong, exactly. please let me know because I'm not the final authority. This is. Yes, I yeah, I absolutely. Because that's God's word. Well, and this is another thing I heard that um, anything that is outside of the Scripture, because that's all we are to base everything on. We're to use it as a measuring rod, a mm -hmm. plumb line, our guide, our source, and anything that that is uh, beyond Scripture is. Well, if you use the word Why do you need it? If Scripture says that we can become complete through Scripture, you, exactly. don't, you don't need any, especially something... And no, speci anything that is revealed is revealed, and if He chooses to reveal more, it will be revealed, but otherwise you are to accept it as it is and not try to read anything else into it, because sure. then you're... Hey, Andy, can I ask you, did you come to know Jesus uh, as, uh, at what age, about what age? Um... At uh, 20, and I'm 50 now. What, wow. ha what happened? W what made you turn to Jesus? You know, I was a struggling teenager, and um, uh, just life was really going downhill, and 